All right, so let's investigate the area under the curve for the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now, before you panic and, and have a fit of rage at not knowing what's going on, if you'll just graph on your calculator the square root of 4 minus x squared, you'll discover that it's a semicircle, and it goes from negative 2 to positive 2, and it has a height of 2 at its maximum height. Why? Because we're talking about a semicircle and a radius of a semicircle for this particular guy is 2. And this is not a bad semicircle right here. Looks pretty good. Now, with a Riemann sum, which is what we're not going to talk about right now, what we would do is we would cut this circle, this semicircle up into an infinite number of rectangles and find the area of those rectangles and look at a limit and all this kind of stuff. What we're going to do right now is we're just going to look at this and go, hey, I have a semicircle. And if I need to find the definite integral, then remember that this is the area under the curve. So what does that mean? That means that I need to find the area under this curve right here. Okay, no problem. We're going from negative 2 to positive 2. We're going up to 2. I've got a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, we're only dealing with half of the circle. So my actual area for this guy is going to be 1 half pi r squared. And do we know what r is? Yes, we do. What is it? It's the distance from the center of the circle to a point on the circle, which in this case, that should be a positive 2, which in this case is going to be 2. So my R value is 2, then all I, gotta, all I need to do, all I've got to do, all I need to wrap up with is substitute the 2 in for my radius. So what I'm going to have is that my area is equal to 1 half times pi times 2 squared, which would be 4 over 2 times pi, which would be 2 pi, and that's a perfect answer. Um, if you want to work out a decimal for that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and then we're just going to finish it off with units squared. So what's the, if we evaluate this integral, the integral from negative 2 to 2 of the square root of 4 minus x squared dx, we would say that it is 2 pi. And really, that's, that's all there is to it. It's the area under the curve. And if it's a geometric shape that we understand, then we use that area shape to evaluate the integral. And that really is all there is to it.